Hi, this is Natalie Rides from, from SBRPicks.com. Now, William Hill's in-play radio host Lee Phelps joins us now to break down the highest scoring team in the Premier League. Let's see who it is. Lee Phelps, thank you for being here today. Pleasure. Now, looking at the top four goal scoring teams to date, uh, Manchester City lead uh, with 59 goals, 28 of those at home, 31 away. Uh, then Chelsea with 57 goals, 27 at home and uh, 30 on the road there, uh, followed by Arsenal with 53 goals, 30 at home, 23 on the road. And then Manchester United, 47 in total, 30 at home and only 17 on the road. Now, right now, the odds point uh, to a tie uh, between Manchester City and Chelsea, priced 1.8 there at 888 Sport. Do you think it's between these two teams? Yes, definitely. Yeah, I mean, Arsenal averaged around 72 goals a season over the last decade. Uh, of course, with Arsene Wenger in charge, I think it's a, it's a good way of averaging out. But I just don't think they've got enough in them to uh, overhaul these two, these two sides. Um, I think Arsenal are always likely to throw in one, maybe two games. So, yeah, straight fight between the two, the, the London Blues and the Manchester Blues for me. OK, but right now Arsenal is only four goals away from Chelsea. Uh, Manchester United is ten goals away there. If Manchester United could pick up their on-their-road scoring ability, uh, they could win the title, but I don't think we're going to see that this season. But Arsenal are priced ten here. Is it worth a consider, just knowing how close they are to Chelsea? I just think uh, how same for Arsenal as it is for Manchester United. You know, Arsenal and Manchester United have got the joint highest home uh, goals tally. I just don't think they score enough away from home. Arsenal's away form has been very patchy this season. If you look down the list of results, you know, they've, they've uh, very rarely uh, managed to string two wins together. Um, so I just think that they'll let you down somewhere on the line. I think it, I, I see what you mean about the price. It is a good price. Um, if Sanchez starts scoring again, and if Giroud carries on his form, then look, you tend to want, it might give you a good run for your money, but I do think come the end of the season it'll be a loser. It might be a plucky loser, it might be a good loser, we get a good run, but I think it will be a loser in the end, unfortunately. I think, you know, they'll come up against the team, they'll just shut them down and they'll have a bad day and then that'll, that'll lose them ground. To gain that many goals in them, I know you're saying that, you know, they're, they're only, you know, they're not that far behind, but... You still have to bank on Chelsea and Man City dropping, you know, having a nil-nil, for instance, yeah. and Arsenal catching them up. So it's it's just unlikely. It's not that they won't score; it's that the other two will still score as well. Yeah, very true. Uh, can you at this point predict who uh, who will be the highest scoring team? Well, it's, it's very hard, isn't it? Because you know you try to look into a crystal ball, but um, by looking at kind of the stats that we've seen so far and who they're going to play and where their defences are. I think it gives us a good idea. I mean, the fact that it's a tie in the betting leads me to want to back Manchester City. There's one simple reason, is that Chelsea are pretty much in control of the title. You know, the five points ahead, they've got a game in hand of Manchester City as well. So, you know, you think to yourself, well, why do they need to go and hammer teams? And that's not really what they do. You know, six of their home games this season have been 2-0 when they could have put the foot down and beaten them 3-4-5. They don't do that. Jose Mourinho teams don't do that. You know, if they're playing a game before a Champions League match, they'll just win the game and they'll just ease off, they'll keep the ball, that's that. Man City are a bit more likely to go and score goals because, don't forget, their first Premier League season was won on goal difference. So, you know, I think it's in their, in their psyche, in their mentality that they can go and score as many as possible. So for that reason alone, I would be back in Man City. There are lots of stats. I mean, you can read the article on Sportsbook Review, Natalie, and I've got into lots of stats as to who they're playing and where the team's... Uh, defensively fit in. For instance, you know, you look at Man City, Man City are playing teams who have got much worse defence than Chelsea have. So, you know, you look at, you look at, you know, City have got Palace. You've got the, you, know, you look at them in terms of their, uh, their away goals, Palace the worst team. You know, you've got Burnley 17th in the division in terms of goals conceded, Swansea 13th, even Tottenham 7th. So, you know, there's lots of other teams, the remaining home games, you've got your West Brom, West Ham, Aston Villa, QPR, you know, they're not teams who are, the teams are either struggling or they're not really at the peak of their form. Even Southampton, who've had the best defence this season, by and large, apart from Chelsea, they're even they're starting to go on the wane a little bit. So I think City have got the easiest run in. So I'd, um, given the odds, I'd just about go for them. OK, so Manchester City there to beat the highest scoring Premier League team. And that comes in 1.9 there. Lee Phelps, thank you for joining us today. Pleasure.